हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा प्रोफेसर एट द वी सी सी स्कॉस जम्मू आरसपुरा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो टुडे वी हैव अ केस ऑफ कंजनाइटल डिफॉर्मिटी इन द फोर लिम एंड द हाइंड लिम इन ए टेन डेज ओल्ड फीमेल काफ सो द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस काफ इज दैट दिस एनिमल इज नॉट एबल टू स्टैंड सिंस बर्थ सो एंड ओनर टोल दैट द एनिमल रिमेन इन दिस पॉस्चर so if you see so it is like a frog like uh, position of this uh, both uh, hind limb and the fore limb is extended like this so if you see it is appears that this is not a normal joint so when we palpated so from the palpation so this joint is okay but only problem is that that from the shoulder side this is the moving freely here this the left one also here the right one also so because of that so animal is not able to bear the weight even on the this both four limb and when we examine the this both hind limb so both hip joints are normal and this is the left hind limb so if the left hind limb this western joint is normal fetlock is normal here the this hock joint is also normal here if you see so here it is appear that there may be some inflammation or some trauma so when we palpated here so this one is the proximal extremity of the this tibia and this is the depression basically between the this distal end of the this uh, uh, femur and the proximal end of the tibia so when we palpated then we found that here this is the basically groove or trochlea of the femur bone and when we palpated here so we find that the patella is here so this is basically a you could see here so this is the yeah you could see here this is the patella which is moving to and fro so this is basically a lateral luxation of the patella and this is the severe this is the severe luxation even by force we can't replace over the trochlea so this is the lateral patella luxation this hip joint is normal and if we palpate the foot turn karna right this okay so this one is the right side of the this hind limb so this here if you see compare so this one is appears normal so here there is no swelling and this one is this one was missing in the contralateral limb so when we move like this so this is the basically patella is centrally placed that you over the trochlea and moreover we are not able to find the trochlea of the this femur bone so this limb is normal and this left one is having the lateral luxation of the patella and this one is the right side so this four limb you see this is the basic the this is the fetlock joint this knee joint this elbow joint is normal but if you see here this is the freely you can say moving here so when we took the radiograph so from the radiography we found that there is a mal formation of the this shoulder joint particularly the glenoid cavity of the scapula so this is a congenital problem and this is the reason that animal is not able to stand from the four limb so deformity was less in the this right side but whereas the left side deformity was more so now we i try to show how to so even by supporting so this one is the right side you yes, support na so now you could see so we have supported the animal from the this right hind limb which is which one is normal but if you see this one left one so this is the typical posture of the this left hind limb in case of the lateral luxation of the patella so this is the unilateral and if you see here so it's appear that there is a lengthening this is the grouping of the this four limb and this is the region animal is not able to bear the weight because it moved laterally like this and appear that there is no shoulder joint properly formed 
So this is the congenital anomaly involving the two shoulder joint and one is the stifle joint. So nothing can be done in this case. So this is only for the information that if such type of clinical sign you will find. So diagnose the yeah, examine the limb properly. So this is all about this case. Now you could see. So now you could see the most of the time the animal is sitting like this. And if you see the forelimb, the position of the forelimb, forelimb also like this. So overall, this is the frog-like position. So we should not confuse that this could be because of the trauma of the spinal cord, although there is a top differential diagnosis in this case that you should go for the examination of the whole vertebral column. You also examine the all joint. So this is all about the, this particular case. Thank you very much.